When we do low voltage lighting for landscaping, we use transformers to reduce the voltage from 110 volts down to 12 volts for a typical low voltage system. What you see here are the transformers which lower the voltage and then the wiring from this box goes out to our different lighting fixtures. I like to put these in areas where they won't be seen. As you can tell, they're quite large. But um, so we've put this on the back of the barbecue where nobody will really see it. And in time, these plants will grow up and hide it even from the back. Um, what we have it, the way we do this is we have an electrician come in and provide 110 power. That power needs to be inspected. That connection needs to be inspected by a city person. And then that comes here to the, um, the main power source. The electrician will bring power to this box. This is a waterproof GFI power outlet. Then the landscape contractor will, power, will plug his transformers into this outlet and that will give him the power. This outlet is switched from inside the house or from the pool power panel um, for lighting controls and that's how that works. So you have two people involved, your electrician and your landscaper who, who handles the lower voltage stuff and the actual lighting connections. When connecting low voltage fixtures, the most important thing is to make sure that the wire connections are watertight. So we use a special connector that's filled with grease. This is actually very similar to what's used in the valve, box, valve boxes for irrigation valves as well. These little caps are filled with grease so that the connection inside is watertight for years to come. The other thing we want to consider, obviously, is the focus of the fixtures on what it is you're trying to highlight. And that's best done at night when you can really see the full effect of the light. So we come back at night and adjust these and fine tune them and get them all locked in to get the maximum effect for the lights.